Hey, it's Gary Dean, DetailJuice.com. I'm gonna shoot this video not on one of my products, but on a couple of products that I use when I'm dealing with overspray removal. Now, there's probably other videos out there explaining to you how to do this, but I specifically wanted to show you my video uh, and how I do it because I think it'll help a lot of people. If you ever are in a position where you're doing overspray removal, dealing with overspray on paint and glass, not a huge deal. You can handle that generally with a clay bar and an all-purpose cleaner like my Infinite Purpose Cleaner. It works awesome. As a lubricant, it will break down the clay, but not fast enough where you can't make it profitable to go through a full clay bar in a, a detail. Actually, I used only a half of a clay, well, that's not true. I used a whole clay bar on the truck, but I only had to discard half of it because I ruined it with using the Infinite Purpose Cleaner. So anyway, I got the paint done, and now I'm working on the trim. So if you'll notice, there's overspray all over this black plastic trim. And you're probably thinking to yourself, well, maybe you can clay it. It's a bad idea. The clay wants to grab. So, the other issue with uh, dealing with trim is that if you use a solvent-based product on it, it's going to, or even, even an all-purpose cleaner, it's going to dry it out a lot. Now, I found... What I'm about to show you works extremely well, and I've actually been using it for a couple of years uh, just because I can't find anything to match the, the quality outcome that this provides while still maintaining the structural integrity and the hydration in trim. So anyway, what I use is, you can use regular Goo Gone. I specifically, I was out of Goo Gone, so I saw this on the shelf. It says paint cleanup, so I specifically bought that. Um, they use orange oil in this, so it's oil-based, which is what you want. It's a slower uh, cleaner than uh, an all-purpose cleaner type would be, uh, but it is highly effective. It does a great job at not drying out the uh, trim because it's oil-based. In fact, it hydrates it a bit, and it still does a great job of cleaning. But with that, I use the 3M Doodle Bug. And I actually order the Doodle Bug on Amazon. This is the box. I buy them in bulk. And it's a, it's a big pad. You can see in there, several of them. Um, I take one of the pads and I cut it into pieces like this so it's easier to manage. But literally, I'll just spray on some of this Goo Gone. Bring it over to the trim. You can see the uh, wipe some on. Because like I said, orange oil takes a little bit of extra time to do the cleaning. And you can smell it in the product. So anyway, so the surface is coated with the product. And then just literally go to town. Rubbing it in. It's hard to film and do this at the same time. But this, because it's oil based, leaves it really hydrated. It's not going to affect the appearance of the trim. But it does an amazing job. I don't know if you can see the dots, the dots that are in there. Here. All right, so I've scrubbed it down with the doodle bug and I got all the overspray broken down and off. So now I'm gonna take my fancy black microfiber towel and just wipe all of the residue off. Get it all clean. Then, notice no overspray at all. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the infinite use detail juice and just give it all a squirt. 
spray it down really well and then go back over it with my towel just to even everything out and boom looks great and that's it that's how I remove overspray from trim and don't damage it at all. Looks amazing.